Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, wherever you are in the world. I'm John Capora, and I'm counting down the best-selling magic cards of the past week, so strap in, because it's about to get crazy up in here. Supreme Will kicks things off. Control is in a bad spot in Standard right now, not gonna lie, and if these blue decks want to succeed in the face of the speed and resiliency and the wherewithal of all these Standard creature decks, they're gonna need some versatile cards, and that's where Supreme Will comes in. It can either counter a spell or dig towards a sweeper, or a Torrential Gear Hulk, if that's what you're into. Both Black, Green, and Teamer Energy have been experiencing a resurgence thanks to the rise of creature decks in Standard. Both of those decks play Blossoming Defense, so there should be no surprise that it's selling well once again. I haven't seen this card since Kaladesh. Authority of the Consoles is one of the better answers available to the red decks. Ramanap Red relies heavily on a high density of creatures with haste in order to operate, and Authority of the Consoles shuts that right down. Speaking of Ramanap Ruins, the card stays in the top 10 this week because it gives the red deck both mana and direct damage. It's tough to overstate the in-game value of Ramanap Ruins, it is proven to be a format warping card. Okay, so there's this black and red mid-range deck that's just preying on all the creature tribes running around, and a big part of their strategy is Doomfall. Just like Supreme Will, Doomfall's a versatile card, acting like a discard spell in certain matchups, with the capability of exiling hard-to-deal-with creatures like, say, Ulamog? Abrade has gotten much better in recent weeks now that more decks are packing Aether Sphere Harvester and Sky Sovereign Console Flagship as another way to combat creatures, and it's worth noting that God Pharaoh's Gift is starting to make a comeback making a braid even better. The commander decks pre-sold like hotcakes all last week thanks to some cool card design and a focus on tribal decks. Because who doesn't love a good old cat deck, am I right? The full art lands are going to sell well until the heat death of the universe, so get on board with it. Being angry at that is like being angry at the sun for rising and setting every day. Just get on board with it. Spire of Industry holds strong, occupying the number two spot for last week's sales. Like I said Friday, it's a potential modern staple at a low price point that's begging to be bought up. If you can snatch up Spire of Industry for $2, go for it, but be prepared to sit on it for at least a year. Spire of Industry is going to go up, but it's going to be a slow climb. There is a lot of Aether Revolt out there in the world. And the number one seller this week is Hollow One, and if you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, you should really check out the Magic.TCG player article for this video, because we've got the modern Hollow One deck below, and it rules. Any deck with Vengevine in it is going to be sweet. <gasps> That's it for this week. If you liked what you saw, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, give us a follow on Twitter or Facebook, and bask in the glow of, um, I don't know, the best-selling cards of the week? I don't really know where I was going with that one. See you Friday!